Is he on his Samus? Up against and another Buda wolf? on the wolf, yes. Solid wolf player. See what can be done here. I, I feel like this matchup has got to be pretty even with the way both archetypes kind of mesh together. I know he has the shine to combat with the charge shot and the frame data to deal with Samus. But, you know, Samus in contention to be a top 15 character, I believe. Yeah, so. this character has slowly gone up tier lists ever since release. Definitely, I think, a character where we all fell prey to the Samus doubters saying that their character was bad. Mm -hmm. And we slowly realized, wait a minute, that's not true. Yeah, man, I don't know what happened that made people think that Samus was bad. <laughs> I, 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 propaganda. I don't know if buffs came through for Samus ever at all. But yeah, she got a, a few little buffs. One of the big ones that I think matters a lot to her is the up throw kills significantly yes, earlier than it did true. on release. Very true. Which means she is not one of those characters that you get to oh, kill percent and you, you just know, feel. G-Swizzy, we were talking about Samus. We should have been talking about G-Swizzy there. He actually just... Zero to death Buddha there, pretty much. That he is was, crazy. He, he took 97 without answering and then just killed him. Yeah, he's like, oh, wait. Well, like, hold on. Let me try real quick. On, let me play the game for a second. I'm playing Samus. Watch this. I, I forgot what my buttons do. <laughs> Figured it out, though. There's the back air from Buddha, though. We're going to see a lot more of those. Mm -hmm. Ooh, ooh. Does not go for the grab reset. I was ready for it. That time he wanted it. One of the fair, fair bear. The cheeky little ways you can kill people so early with wolf. Mm -hmm. Those wolf stocks. You got to be ready for it. And Buddha Bam absolutely, excuse me, G Swizzy, rather, absolutely was. Mm -hmm. Way the up B, though, but fading away just to avoid the punish. Buddha Bam coming through with a dash attack. Has the ledge trap now. Going for the F smash once again. Oh, no. Seeing a little bit too many reads coming through for the wolf here. But, wow, that's one read that'll pay off. The forward air into the back air of bread and butter. Unfortunate. Wolf. Unfortunate DI. At that percent, you should not be able to do that cleanly. However, it's not so easy as you just tell someone DI better. Speaking of which, falling up air, mistimed as well. Buddha Bam missing a couple little things there, but covering those mistakes so well, which is crucial. Mm -hmm. That's trap situation now. This is where Samus can't shine, but Buddha Bam gets out of it right quick, looking for a read once again. But it doesn't matter. That forward smash is lagless enough that you could just throw it out. We keep seeing him utilize that to effect, and this is stark contrast <gasps> to the last game we had, but the up is not going to be enough to kill just yet. That spacing was crazy. <laughs> forward air? Nope. Not quite. Let's trap once again, setting up the bomb. But we just are not coming back, I guess. Yeah, I guess not. My man wanted that next stock. It was for stage control. Exactly. Like, look how much stage control. Well, uh, never mind. Well, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you tried to go do something with it, Lentini, but you couldn't quite. <laughs> JK, we're, we're camping in the corner with lasers. <laughs> yeah, I mean, as you should, right? Yeah. You're ahead in percent. He's a wolf player. You can afford to maintain some distance between Samus, and even if they get their charge shot, it's fine. As long as you maintain this lead, maintain the stage presence, you will find that up tilt. You will pass go and collect that first game. That was a great read on that up tilt. We saw several times the F smashes came out, the attempts at reads throughout the game, but when it mattered most to close out the stock, because it's so easy, we saw the zero to death, right? There's an opportunity where all of a sudden Samus just does Samus things. You exactly. can't hit her. You get hit by five charge shots in a row and then like up tilted at the ledge. Yep. Our players have evaporated here. Okay, we're back. <laughs> Walked over to do <laughs> Go some... Go for a little stroll. Some picks and bands, perhaps, thinking about it. Yep. Just thinking about... Oh, my goodness. Really yeah. thinking it through. What's happening over here? You good, my guy? You looking at the camera. You good? Bro. What's up, buddy? What's up, dude? How you doing, bro? Okay. Oh, yeah, tell him. Okay. Tell him. Show him that jawline. Yeah, okay. He's showing off a little bit. He's like, huh? <laughs> Look, he knows he's got it. He might as well flaunt it. It's a fashionable shirt he's got on there, too. I don't know what it says, but it's kind of clean. Yeah, I'm not sure either. He's Bro, what, what are you doing? You're starting your rap career out here? I don't What's know. going on? Who's he talking to? Talk talking to, to the him. people? He's talking to Chaco. That's bro. mid -set coaching. That's Chaco <laughs> and Kobe in the middle. Oh, what? Chaco Taco coming up. What's this? What do we need? Um, maybe something with the controllers? Something's happening. Chat, what's going on? Talk to me, chat. I'm so confused. Not sure what's happening you here. You got the DX racer there with the uh, the angled back support for all of our scoliosis-affected viewers. Getting iced. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> scoliosis. <laughs> Getting iced. Yeah, uh, this might be a little bit of icing. We might be having a technical difficulty over there on G Swizzy's end. It looks like Buda Bam is just looking at him like, what's going on, man? Yeah, he looks, he's ready to go. Those crossed arms are telling me, he's feeling a little impatient about this. Like, let's, let's get it on. All momentum is now reset. I do see 
chat saying that apparently that Icy's won 3 0 over the Falcon DK. Nice. Okay. Icy's. The aura. <laughs> was it, who, who was playing on the other side of things? I don't know, chat. Y'all know who was playing? Yeah. Also, chat, how are y'all doing? I hope you're having a good time here at Momocon. Shout out it's, to chat. Shout out to yeah, chat. Yeah, shout out to chat. You just being in the chat is it's the lifeblood of this community. We can't yep. do it without the viewers. True. We've got, whether it's the Twitch Prime enjoyers or just people watching some ads for us, it goes a long way. Mm -hmm. But, of course, if you can come out, that's even better. Cannot recommend this place enough. It's mm -hmm. such an amazing venue. Talk to him, Lentini. you really be spitting right now for sure. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. We're just, you know, we're just chilling with you until we figure out uh, what's going on here. I think we might be getting to the bottom of it very shortly. It looks like Budabam is ready to take a seat and get back in with that lumbar support. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's just something about the posture there. He's doing something silly. Oh, yep. something about the posture. Oh, we just lost our signal. Chat, I don't know if y'all can still hear us, but we are. No, chat can still see. Don't worry. We are in limbo right We're now. On, uh, don't worry, Lentini. We got the tiny screen. Oh, there we there. go. Yeah, we got it. We can see. We can cook. Hey. <laughs> okay, we're good. Thank you, production. Yep, we're back. Here we go. And we're going to hollow back. Maybe a button check. Nope, nope. I think we're getting straight back into it. You ever have that moment where you get to play the 50-50? Is it button check or the worst neutral you've ever seen? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's there's, there's there's intention behind their movements. I know for a fact that this is certainly the real yeah. game that is being played. I've definitely made that mistake where there were just two players who were not in the zone. Yeah. And so I called it a button check. <laughs> it happens to the best of us, but here we go. Already G-Squizzy, after that quick icing that they did to Bam, they've already found themselves with a bit of percent here. 52, but that oh. reflection was just enough to turn the tides. Yeah, and the scaling on that as well, was it like 1.3, 1.4 times? I think it might be two times. Oh, actually. is it really? I think it might be. Man. Don't quote me on that. This character's broken. <laughs> the no shine. wonder they nerfed him like three times. You have to get the shine to begin with. I mean, you should be ready for that, though, if yeah. you're not playing a projectile character. you got to be careful. Nice uppy, though, out of shield. Get off me. Dash attack coming through now with a ledge trap looking for a back air. Budabam swinging a little bit, but it's okay. okay. Wolf can afford to. Yeah, like what are you going to do to punish that? Oh! Off that F smash. And I, that was probably the one frame timing there, too. I assume when you see that coming, you just hold shield and pray. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you're oh, dead. No, yeah, you're not going to die from that. <laughs> the air dodge given away. And, geez, and you can't wall see, jump here. As we say in the business, we take those. We do indeed take those. Shielding in each other's faces as well. Who will blink first? In that case, it was G Swizzy. But, you know, you're coming back into this. That aerial charge shot to extend the combo as well. I like it. Up the out of shield after the aggressive option for Bam on the ledge. Fully charging that charge shot. Once again, just letting it rip when you press a button. Forward air, forward air, up air, up air. Yeah, the classic. Looking like a Roy out here. Yeah, the, just the bread and butters. I have heard uh, Wolf referred to as a sortie. I call, I just call Wolf the the Roy of species. He, he's like a dagger character, you know? <laughs> yeah, with those claws. He's like a rogue. It is crazy looking at his disjoints. Like, he's got mad disjoints, even on his aerials. Yep, great hitboxes here. Great frame data as well. Which is re the reason why he's one of the better characters in Smash Ultimate, I would say. Again, oh. that Nair... But you overcooked it. That nair from the ledge has been such a boon for Budabam. Mm -hmm. But you got to be careful with how you use it. Yep, G Squizzy finding themselves with a stock lead. Has plenty of percent that the charge shot comes through. And taking that connection to charge once again. Smart to get your resources back when you have the time to do so instead of pressing your advantage. But can't get to ledge in time and gets up smashed instead. Bringing this down to last stock. G Swizzy has a fragile lead. Can absolutely pull something out with that terrifying Samus bread and butter ledge trapping. Just the set play so hard to deal with. Charge shot cancel. Oh no, missed the dash attack. Not going to connect, but here comes Budabam finding a lot of damage. And the shine reversal into back air. Doesn't have his jump. Able to tether back though. G Swizzy. Almost got deleted there, but luckily able to return Man. to stage. There's a reason most fox, or excuse me, most wolves don't go for that. That is very hard to do. Great execution from Budabam. Get yourself a little bit back into this game. Got a lot of rage as well, but you have to get off the ledge versus Samus. Have to. Whiffed grab, though. That's a back throw to get some stage presence here. Budabam now looking for oh no hit Nair. And the oh! connects it's gonna barely be enough to kill and he's counting his blessings after that connection because i don't think that should have hit i think he held down 
to go past the ledge so you don't sweet spot. And yeah, that hitbox is massive. And the reason you went that way, further adding credence to that being intentional, is because he had to do a B reverse to actually be facing away from the ledge there to do that. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, intentional or not, it worked out there for Buda Bam, able to find that game two and already at set point two zero. Luckily though, all the matches here at Momocon are best of fives who have that chance to get that adaptation to play a couple of more games. Yeah, all best of five. is It's such a great renaissance of the scene that we've yeah. found ways. Shout out to our TOs. I don't know how they do it. Figuring out ways to run all best of five ultimate is a feat. A lot of setups, man. Yeah, a lot of setups. We do have a lot of setups here. Friendlies for days. For real. Even backstage, we got setups for friendlies. It's you know crazy. These, you know these ultimate players aren't grinding, bro. Well, setups <laughs> are open. <laughs> All right, G-Squizzy trying to make their way back. Shining the missile there. Rolling in, trying to get some stage presence, giving the charge shot away and the grab. And Budabam is just okay with all those whiffing because he knows he has stage control. One thing I'm noticing with G Swizzy's grabs is there's like no Zare presence, which means it's a lot easier to immediately tell that it's a grab coming out. Mm -hmm. And you can space for the grab because the Zare goes further. Mm -hmm. True. Jumping over that. Super missile, able to find that back air. Budaban once again opening with a combo here, getting a dash oh, attack. Oh no, he had the read. Yes, he did. He actually had the reset there, but didn't want to overcommit to the combination. And honestly, I respect that with a stock lead. Uh, it stings a little bit though, because you know you could have gotten oh. another fair, fair bear. Ooh, the ankle kill. biter. Yes, charge shot into back air. Charge shot is such a versatile tool for Samus, allowing her to find all sorts of things that. She might not otherwise. This is basically charge shot the character. <laughs> Jumping over with that forward air. Such a deceptive hurtbox shift on even the early parts of that move. Able to get past it. Now the forward airs again. I hate that move as a spacey player, I have to say. It completely shuts down your relatively stubby aerial approaches. Even with a character like Wolf, that disjoint on the forward air is not super big. Oh, I love this ledge trapping here from G-Squizzy recycling the situation so often and enough nice. to get the charge shot after the down B. Great stuff to G-Squizzy, making some adaptations, and this is looking real good after that first stock, especially where G-Squizzy got deleted. Yeah, give him that bread, give him that butter. Either way, it is working really well for him. So hard to deal with the set play ledge traps. There's a reason Samus's don't mix that up, because why would they? Let me just drop my bomb, charge my shot at roll distance. What are you going to do about it? Yep, exactly. For forward air and G Squizzy beginning to oh, close no. the door on this game, shutting the book for Buddha Bam. But maybe this is an edge guard situation. Nope, has to pull flash. Oh. And now the stock could be in a dangerous spot. Gets the back throw, looking for a ledge trap. Now this is where Samus makes her bread. There you Gets go. The hard shot. The weak hit is enough to send off the stage. The down B is covering almost everything. Keeps resetting, but finally able to sneak through Buddha Bam with a second chance. That was nice. Going for the double charge shot there as well. Ooh. You said it was a second chance, but it is a small chance. Got to find this kill right here. Risks it with the F smash. No punish. It is pretty safe, and G-Swizzy was already jumping That's out, enough, but that'll bro. do it. Those are those buffs we talked about earlier. Yep, exactly, Lentini. Just like you mentioned, the buff to the up throw is enough to seal out that third game. We're going to game four, but still, G-Swizzy down. Certainly not out, though. And now we're back into the uh, the between games. Is this going to be 10 seconds? Is this going to be 10 years? Looks like we're getting right back into it. No breaks this time. No stalling out. No icing. Yeah. And we're going to Kalos. Maybe maybe there really was a problem. And maybe on G Swizzy's end there was something wrong. Looks like he's playing a little bit better now. A little bit more confident it seems. But can he maintain this as we continue on in this set? Because we know that Buda Bam could definitely take games. He just needs to take one more. But can he now? That's the question. Yeah, meanwhile, G Swizzy got to take two more. But you've got the little bit of momentum. Mm -hmm. The downside, of course, being... You've got to deal with Buddha Bam's counterpicks with no DSR yep. for the rest of this set. Mm -hmm. Ooh. The thing is, though, does Samus really have that many bad stages, <laughs> if we really think about it? Depends. Are you asking a Samus player or anybody else? Anybody. <laughs> <laughs> of course, the Samus player is going to be like, oh, man, Kalos is so bad, I can't kill early with my up throw. Her. No, but she could certainly camp. She could survive because of the large blast zone. So, like, you can look at the benefits of Samus on this stage and see that she can still play here even if 
you don't like it. And she can space with forward air. We've already seen that coming out a lot. That is a very strong okay. move. Oh, 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 oh. oh F smash for F smash. We're back to Reed City here. Okay, that charge shot hit behind, I feel like. Yeah, it does hit behind. It's crazy. My goodness, what a hitbox. And now we're seeing Zares a little bit more as well. That's the second or third that I've seen. Forward air going to get stuffed out. I think that's something that Budabam has figured out. The way I deal with this Samus is I stuff out that startup with my faster frame data. Oh, okay. Tether cancel coming back, but it's not going to be enough. The back air from Budabam seals the deal on that first stock. Almost fully charged. Charge shot is given away on the shield, teching in to avoid more damage. And the up B out of shield for G Swizzy doing some more percent. But you have to find the stock, and it hit behind once again. That charge shot. Such an egregious hitbox. A great spacing as well from G Swizzy to catch those rolls like that. It would be nice if you were able to naturally convert oh. a little more, but hey, we take the damage. Also, 200%. Shout out to Kalos. Holy. Kalos saving. Okay. But the forward air from G Swizzy, that last hit is going to connect and find that stock. It didn't take too much extra credit, but ooh, that fully charged down smash not working out. G Swizzy. Tr being very tricky on the ledge and finding so much percent gets the tech roll out with the charge shot finding more and more damage with this forward air getting the super oh. missile as well that was a bad air dodge combo that was nice. the forward air this is a bad situation we've seen g swizzy set up these positions before oh my we've goodness. seen how many stocks he can take while at the ledge can we get one more yes we oh. can g swizzy with the ledge trap wow g swizzy once again reminding us that touch of death is real samus is not an okay character sakurai <laughs> and we are seeing the effects yep we are definitely seeing the effects in full force but Udabam is no stranger to these comebacks has done it before he can do it again but g swizzy looking prime to take this to a game five, Lindy. Ooh, 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 dash attack though. Gonna reset that aerial juggle. Going to the corner. I think that makes sense for Samus in this situation. Mm -hmm. So floaty. Back air, no tipper, not gonna kill. Not just yet. Have to make the way back to stage. The tether Where's misses. Park? So many through. buttons. I think that's jump given away. We're gonna have to burn the up B. I still don't think we have our jump. We're not making it back. Yes, good edge guard from Budabam. We needed that. You ever heard of a back. wolf stock? You might be about to. Uh oh. We're gonna see. We know he's got that fair bear conversion. If you can just get a little bit of damage, this get like air. a down throw and combo. Oh! Don't talk about Buddha Bam right now, Lintini, because it's all G Swizzy on that right side blast zone. Wow, G Swizzy not even giving him a chance. It all starts with a grab for Wolf in those situations. He's like, all right, bet. Try to grab me from the blast zone. Yep. Game five coming out here. G Swizzy bringing it all the way back. And now all of a sudden, it doesn't matter as much who won game one or game two. All that matters is who wins this next one. Let's see what we can do yeah, here. No character counter picks. I wasn't paying attention to the stage. Did we run it back? No, I think we moved to a different stage. Honestly, I'm down for moving to a different stage. I feel like yes, that just Bastion. didn't work out. We are going to Hollow Bastion. And another color counter pick. Budabam, really uh, multifaceted mm -hmm. on this wolf. Very true. We see the different play styles coming out from Buddha Bam, the aggression. We see the advantage state. We already see right now as he's pressing his advantage, looking for a read onto G Swizzy. But regardless, these aerials are safe enough. G Swizzy fighting back here, finding a drag down, looking for an F smash. Can't find it though. Parrying that laser and you can't give away a roll when you're charging the shot like that because you're too laggy. You can't avoid it. This is such a tight Oh no! Not again. Okay, we air dodge past. It's okay. Speaking of air dodges, we see G Swizzy a little scared oh. there and you're going to pay for it with your life. The fair to bear and Buddha Bam taking the first stock in game number five. Exactly. We've seen Buddha Bam take the first stock, I think, more often than not so far in this set. G Swizzy now has to play on the back foot. Only 98% able to roll in to dodge the charge shot, getting some of that invincibility the up oh, given away. Oh. No punish though. Gets the parry into the up Once again, more damage here for G Swizzy. Trying to charge up that shot just a little bit. Gives away the jab, but we are just scrambling right now. There we now. go. Great coverage. Bet on the fact that he was going to fall through again. The same drift came out, and oh, Budabam no. was ready for it, but you're not ready for Das Boot as G Swizzy gets on the board. Yep. Exactly. A shine. Oh, we can't hold it for that long. Looking for a down air, able to up B through. The Nair is going to catch that lingering hitbox. It's a great ledge trapping tool. Trying to fake out with a charge shot. Throwing out lots of forward airs to catch these jumps. Budabam hopping a little bit too much, but oh no. that grab was a read. Ledge trap now. Get up attack. Great time to use that. When in doubt, just get up attack. Shout out to Gimmer for that one. 
43 to 97, but look, one hit, almost even in it up there. G Sweezy has brought this all the way back. We're in Nair slash back air mode for Wolf. Does he want that Nair down smash? Yes, he does. And G Swizzy knows it. G Swizzy finding a forward air once again. Oh, what a great air dodge from Buda Bam. Able to come back, but the ledge trap now. It's so hard to deal with this thing that gets sent on the neutral get up space, but he's able to get by. The up beat once again. It's not going to be enough to kill just yet, though. Yeah, good DI to keep you alive oh, that there. that will, though. Yep. Mm -hmm. 113 now on G Swizzy. It's a fragile stock, but it's a stock lead nonetheless. Mm -hmm. Can you take this to the bank? Get that teacher's pet extra credit. This is where it starts. Yep, 10%. Not too shabby. G Swizzy slowing it down. Wants to get their charge shot, but actually comes in with the grab. Very aggressive, throwing out lots of hitboxes, and it can't get the punish on the F tilt. Now, let's trap situation for He charges up the up smash, and somehow it connects. I can't believe that worked. Some sort of hurt box changing chicanery. The way Wolf gets into the air at the start of that up smash can make things just whiff on him. You see G Swizzy and Buda Bam trading reads. They're looking to find some punishes here that are bigger than the average. And I think if G Swizzy can keep this lead going for the moment, it might be difficult for Buda Bam to get back into it. Yeah, 68%. That is a scary spot to be in this matchup because as soon as you get sent off stage, you're in the blender. Manages to get in with minor injuries, but you're sent right back mm. out. Okay, reversal situation. Now, Budabam finding G-Squeezy on this right side blast. So looking for a oh. full charge down smash and the missile. Why did what are die? we doing? That had to have been a mistake. There's no way he wanted a missile. The forward air back air not going to kill. Oh. But it puts him in a terrible spot. He swings out the madman. Yep, the Nair get off me. That should do it. It's the forward air and G-Squeezy with a reverse 3-0 on Budabam. Will find that game and he will find the wow. set just when you thought it was over. It's oh, back. Oh my goodness. That was a fight. But G Swizzy finds a way through. It doesn't matter. Kept the composure after that miss input that could have cost the entire winner's side run and found a way to close it out with that forward air. Could you imagine, though, if that was intentional? Like he knew some secret Man. tech. <laughs> that we could confirm. Yeah, right, right. He's, he's got some crazy Twitter combo that we've never seen before. Would love to would love to have seen what he was cooking there. Unfortunately, it didn't pan out. But regardless, G Squizzy able to take the set and reverse.